everyone. Welcome to another TCWC moment. I uh, just want to take a few moments and talk to you just a little bit about some things in Scripture and just what God's been showing me lately. Um, one of actually one of my favorite stories uh, lately in Scripture has been a story about Saul's conversion to Paul. But it's not really about his conversion that really piques me. It's the fact that there was a man named Ananias, and this man was actually being very obedient to the Lord and really kind of helped Saul discover his way even closer to the Lord. And we read actually in Scripture in Acts chapter 9, is there's this moment that the Lord actually speaks to Ananias, and he says, Ananias, there's a man named Saul that has been blinded. I want you to go put your hands on him and heal him. And Ananias literally says this in uh, chapter 9, verse 13, says, But Lord, exclaims Ananias, I have heard many people talk about the terrible things this man has done to the believers. In Jerusalem, and then authorized by a leading priest to arrest everyone who calls upon his name. But the Lord said, Go, for Saul is my chosen instrument to take the message to the Gentiles and to the kings, and well as the people of Israel. Here in this moment, Ananias had a decision to make. He could literally follow the Lord, what the Lord was prompting him to do, or he could just say, No, I'm not going to choose to do this. I'm not going to go in the path that the Lord wants me to go. Think about this in the moment. He knows that Saul is a man that really kills Christians, persecutes them, puts them in prison. But instead, he decided to go into an uncomfortable situation, something that he was not really a fan of. He also was very discomfortable of who Saul was. What would Saul do when they met? When Saul maybe recovered his eyesight, would he go back to the Saul that, again, that Ananias knew and had heard of, or was there a true conversion? But what we do see is Ananias was being obedient to the Lord. And I wonder how many of us now, we have things that the Lord is telling us to do and telling us to go, and it's making us uncomfortable. It's really, we're kind of uncertain what it means. We really don't know the outcome. But it's the fact that the Lord is calling us to do something that's mainly kind of out of the box. And it maybe is something so different and so odd to us, but it's something the Lord wants to do. It's really hard to talk about the New Testament without mentioning Paul and what Paul had done for the church after Jesus had then made his ascension into heaven. But what I do love this about Acts 22, and I'm going to flip over there now, and here is what actually Paul now says about Ananias. And he says this, he said, I was blinded by intense light and had to be led by hand to Damascus by my companions. A man named Ananias lived there. He was a godly man, deeply devoted to the law, and well regarded by all the Jews of Damascus. In this moment here, we can see that Paul's hero is Ananias. He actually, after this time, he spent time with Ananias, and he was able to come closer to the Lord simply because of Ananias' testimony and who Ananias was. And Paul calls Ananias a godly man. Then he went on to say, he said, I came and stood beside me and he said, Brother Saul, regain your sight. And that very moment I could see. I don't think we have the Paul that we know today without Ananias. So let me encourage you just this week and whenever you're watching this, let me encourage you just to be obedient to what the Lord is calling you to do. Be someone's Ananias this week. Be something that's going to be maybe outside your comfort, outside of your uncertainty. God's calling us right now to another place that maybe we've never seen and maybe calling us to help the chosen people that he has for him to do what he has in store for next as we continue to move forward. Man, I hope you guys have a great week and can't wait to see you soon.